What is up guys? Today we're going to be talking about what Fedora has done in the latest version of Fedora 37 involving Mesa and they've done it because of legal issues. They're removing VA API accelerated hardware video decoding, decoding support and this will only affect AMD GPU, Radeon SI and Intel users because that uses Mesa. And what this pretty much does is the reason they're so afraid is it's exposing an API for patented codecs. Now, the person who is disabling this is David Aureli. I, I don't know if I said his name right, right at all, but he works for Red Hat. And it's a single line of code which is removed. It's, we can show you right here. So this is the line of code that is removed. You can see the minus. So when you're compiling Mesa, which I will cover in a video soon if you guys want, uh, comment below for that. And what I'll be covering is compiling Mesa with this re-enabled for Fedora. And that should help a lot of people out because, you know, one way or another, someone's going to create a repo with a custom Mesa uh, that has this enabled and, you know, it's not going to get Fedora in trouble or anything to have that out there. You know, people are legally responsible for their own repos and whatnot. So, uh, whoever does that you're a hero and if i find a repo that is going to keep this enabled i will link it in the description below now um legal things that i believe david said this is not david this is david right here so uh this is what he says this was an oversight being enabled prior to this i think we have to remove it in older fedora as well that means mentioning fedora 36 and probably 35, who knows. Fedora cannot ship anything that causes the OS to provide an API which exposes patenting algorithms. The patent licensing around H.264 and H.265 is such that providing this could leave Red Hat and other Fedora distributors exposed to legal problems. That, that, that in itself is completely understandable. And to the people that are not understanding this and are complaining constantly, you need to back down. It's as simple as this. Do you want Red Hat to disappear and have legal troubles? If yes, switch distributions. Don't even bother with Fedora at that point because you're doing it no good by constantly complaining. This is a legal issue and you need to understand that it's one guy fighting for a bigger stick and being like, I own it, deal with it. Could happen. The legal repercussions, God knows what would happen, if anything at all. I don't really think these codec owners would really care what's happening or else they would have done something a very, very long time ago. But it is what it is. And I will link all of this stuff here in this tab in the description below. They are the sources and you'll be able to find them there. Now, with that being said, I uploaded a video recently about Nabora Linux. Uh, it's a Fedora spin that basically is concentrated on gaming and content creation. You guys should go check that out. Uh, the video has not been viewed enough. That's all. You know, uh, it's the distro that I literally use all the time uh, when I'm not on Arch Linux. It is my mainstay. It's what I play Guild Wars 2 on and a whole bunch of other Linux games. So do check it out. You'll find that at the end of this video in the little pop up thing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I hope you enjoyed this Linux news.